And look at that. Seamless. What a seamless stream. I forgot to um, take the... I forgot to uh, take the game out of my system yesterday, so that made me worry. I don't like that. I don't like leaving a game in my NES overnight. I'm afraid that it'll bend the pins. Well, it, it, I'm afraid that it will, like, uh, it'll relax the pins, you know? All right, all right. So one day we're going to be able to beat this without picking up extra lives. That's kind of what I keep saying. But before we can do that, um, I want to just beat the game deathless at some point, you know? I want to get through the game and at the end go, wait a minute, I didn't die at all that run. I want that to happen. How are you today, Havoc? It is good to see ya. Oh man, Lantern just romped and stomped there. I'm gonna have to join a league soon. Uh, what I'm afraid of with the league is that, um... I'm afraid that the league is gonna be all burn, you know? I'm afraid that everybody in Modern League plays burn. I don't know why I think that that might be the case. Probably because when I was talking about buying and snaring bridge, my friend Larry was saying that uh, he can help me pay for uh, Lantern by grinding out tickets by playing Burn in the Modern League. Because it, apparently if you go into the Modern League with a Burn deck, you will on average come out on top and be able to slowly make money to buy cards that way. Which makes it sound like there's just a bunch of Burn in the Modern League. But who knows? Because if that were true, that would mean that he would have to have a burn deck that was good against the burn mirror. Which means maybe the meta is dominated by something that's bad against burn. And it hasn't, it hasn't figured it out yet. You know what's bad against burn? Lantern. <laughs> maybe that's it. Maybe the whole modern league meta is all lantern. Except for Larry, who's in there fucking just giving people the business with burn and grinding out tickets. I should figure something out against burn. Because maybe there's a couple... And like, after I play enough, I can probably be able to look at my sideboard and tell you which cards I never board in. And then replace those with something good against burn. You know what we need... In modern, Zurin Orb. Burn decks just cannot deal with Zurin Orb, and I, I would love to be able to board that in against them. Oh, that's my extra life. I almost missed it. Just trying to go fast. You know, man, you gotta go fast. I'm not a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, but he did teach us a valuable lesson that you gotta go fast. Ah! Okay. Almost, almost jumped off into a pit there. Oh, that was the, that was the most pathetic flag jump I've ever done. That burp tasted weird. What was that? All I've had today is coffee soylent. And now chocolate soylent. It must have been coffee soylent. Unless it was still those chips I had last night. Do you guys know that you can buy, um, burritos close. I mean, it was, it was slightly Mexican style chips. Do you guys know that you can buy Taco Bell sauce from, from a grocery store? They just sell it now? Let me tell you, I love Taco Bell sauce. 
Taco Bell mild sauce specifically. Now, mild, I, I get the mild not only because I'm a total wuss when it comes to spices. Um, not, not only am I just a total wuss when it comes to spicy foods, but uh, the hot sauce at Taco Bell has l little chunks of, of, of like whatever they make it out of, you know, in there. The mild sauce is smooth and the hot sauce is not. So that's the real reason is I, I don't like I don't like stuff in my in my sauces. I like cream I like creamy peanut butter and I like a creamy sauce. No! So That's what that's all about. What was I even doing there? Yay or nay, should I start timing my runs just for fun? No, I don't want to. Because I don't want to feel like I have to go faster than last time. We're, the goal is deathless right now. The goal is to get through the game without dying. Which we just failed, but you know, I gotta practice the whole game. You never speedrun your favorite games anyway. That is a that is a, a a good little piece of advice. I don't know though. One of my favorite games of all time is Wings of V, and that's the only game that I've speedrun, and I love it. I love it because um it it, it really the part of the reason that I love it is that I love every part of that game. And so, and the first time that I played through the game, it took me like 80 hours, you know? Because it's just so fucking hard. But, uh, once I started running it and got really good at it, now I can beat the game in like an hour and 20 minutes. And I can get through the whole game in that time. There aren't really very many skips in the game, you know? You get to see the whole game. It's one of those games where the speedrun isn't go out of bounds and skip everything. It's a speed run where uh it's a speed run where the strategy is play the game but play it real good. And uh and that's the kind of thing I love. Have you have you not seen like a speed run of Wings of V, Havoc? Because we might have to do that like right now if you haven't. I would be up for for a run of that game. I I have not done a run of that game in, like, several months, so it would be a bit of a disaster, but that's, that's just fine. I, I don't even think I would time it. I, you know, if we did a run of it, I just wouldn't even have splits on the screen. Maybe I'd have a timer, but not, like, splits, just because it, it would be a, a, a practice, you know? Well, you know what, Havok? If you're gonna be here, if you if you if you're not going anywhere in the next hour, I think I should. After I play this Mario run, I think we should do a Wings of V run because it's a wonderful, magical game of friendship and happiness, and I I love every part of it. Whoop, whoop. Wait a minute, it's better to go down anyway. Probably speedrun zero mission. Yeah, so, um, when I was a kid, I, I did do the thing where you beat the game in under two hours to get the special ending. Alright, well you let me know when you're back from the shower, and we will speedrun we will speed run Wings of V, and it will be wonderful. Maybe I should finish up this run, and then I'll do practice. I'll, I'll just like practice some bosses and stuff. Until you give me the go ahead. And that is exactly what I would like to spend my day, spend the hour doing.
before we play some Persona 5, probably. We'll probably play Persona 5 afterward. Alright, so I've died a couple times. We could be on our way to Crown Lives, but it might be not super likely. Some brew? Is that, is that what the kids say for beer? Some brewskis? Some brew dogs? Some brew dizogs? My, uh, my family doesn't really talk about beer. I haven't really talked about beer with my family. because I mean, because I'm just, like, not really interested in beer. Uh, I don't like it. But, uh, my dad always tells me that I would like a Long Island iced tea. Like, any time that the, I, that the subject of alcohol comes up. The thing is, I don't like alcohol. I, I don't like the feeling of it in my throat. I don't like the taste of it. Um... And I, and I say that, and he's like, oh, you got to try a Long Island iced tea. But from what I hear, I mean, from what I hear about, like, how much alcohol is actually in a Long Island iced tea, it would probably get me right fucked up. Rum, tequila, or whiskey? Um, I think the only thing I've had of those three is tequila, or not tequila, uh, rum. And I've had it in, like, a Coke. It was a cocktail, you know? A rum and Coke. And I thought it was terrible. It was like, it was, it was like having Coke, but gross. It was like, hey, this is Coke, but it's a little bit gross, and it makes your throat feel shitty. Enjoy! Kraken? Is that like a certain brand? Kraken! I don't know if it was actually Coke that was in it, it was probably Pepsi. Do you remember Pepsi Holiday Spice? That shit was gross. Oh, got it! It's funny that, um, my history with that was, oh geez, I just, I think that was a chance for, yeah, that's an extra life opportunity right there, that I squandered. And then is it, wait a minute, is this the one that you don't want to take? Is it this world that has the, the, there's another extra life coming up? No, that's in the third world. Yeah, that's like the whole level, okay. Oh, that's funny. Um, you know, I, uh, don't forget my thing. Oh, I did my move, finally. Um. 
You know, ever since I got on the Soylent diet, I've been drinking water instead of pop, and, uh... And I, I, pop doesn't like burn my throat anymore, but, or, or it, do, it doesn't do anything like that, but it doesn't quench my thirst anymore. Like, I used to be able to drink pop if I was thirsty, but now it's like if I'm thirsty, get that shit out of here. Give me some water. It just like makes my mouth feel sticky. Pop does, I mean. So, ooh. That's my weird getting old thing. It's not getting old. It's just, I, it's funny, I just, I stopped drinking pop, and I, uh, I stopped liking it as much. When I first started on Soylent, like, I still wanted pop, like, it was the main thing that I, okay, I had to get hit there just to not die. But I still, like, wanted pop, but I would think about it in my stomach, and I would be like, that doesn't go good with Soylent. That's gonna go in my stomach, and it's gonna be weird. There's gonna be this, like, creamy shake delicious in there, and then there's gonna be, like, bubbly carbonated pop. Nah, put some water in there. Soylent? Oh, it's fantastic. The, the pre-mixed stuff is really, really good. And it makes me feel good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, I barely made it out of that one. Um, yeah, like the chocolate soylent, really good. The red stuff is really good. Uh, nectar. Um, the coffee is decent. But you gotta have it. Even though it's only decent, I still, you, you gotta have it because I need some, I need some caffeine in me in the morning. Uh, the original stuff, it's, the original stuff is okay. You're vegetarian, so I, uh, I'm very much not, but my diet previously consisted of, uh, like, all meat and potatoes, so this is much healthier for me. But yeah, it is also vegetarian and vegan friendly. Yeah, and I really like it. My body feels good. I feel sustained. I feel healthier. And it means that I can stream for 12 hours straight without having to take a break because I'm sustained because I just take a drink. And it's the same as eating. So yeah, I, I very much recommend it. It's excellent. The only thing is that, uh, so there, there is a, there's the premix stuff in the bottles, which I'm drinking, but then you can also get a powder, and the powder is way cheaper. Uh, however, they've made some changes to the powder, and I think it's gross now. So I'm not into that anymore. I used to have the powder. Whoops. Not what level I thought this was. Fish and cheese? I get that you mean like separately, but man, fish and cheese sounds gross together. <laughs> Actually, I guess people eat like. There's like the filet of fish sandwich at McDonald's that has cheese on it, right? Not that filet of fish at McDonald's is great. So Flex Retro really likes fish. And so even though he is not a Christian man, he really enjoys Lent season because all the places have, uh, uh, deals on fish around Lent. And so he can eat a lot of fish because he likes it.
Uh, yeah, my, my girlfriend is vegetarian, and she has fish occasionally, um, for, uh, for nutritional reasons. Ah! There's a spot I can never get through. So yeah, um, I have Soylent all day, and then occasionally, well, uh, usually at night I'll want some kind of snack, so I'll have, like, some chips and sauce and cheese, because I like it, or I'll have, like, a pack of ramen, because it tastes good, uh, but then, hang on, oh jeez. World 7, boys. Um, but I, I, I will go out and have a steak every once in a while just because I love it. I like to have, I, I, it's like, a good meat dish is my favorite food. Like, uh, teriyaki steak and white rice is, is my favorite food. So I gotta have that every once in a while. Man, remember when we crushed that, that, uh, we crushed that weird modern deck and then they didn't even want to play game two? Because we crushed them so bad. That was great. Academy Runes is so good. Because once you have Academy Runes, you just start belling until you get, because it's basically like, so, okay, now I need to draw Lantern, What was what the deal was. But instead of just drawing one card a turn, I was basically drawing three cards a turn. Because I could, or like four cards a turn. Because I would bell, bell, and shred myself. And if any of those were lantern, we would Academy Runes it back into the hand. If they weren't, then we would draw a card. So boom, we get four cards deeper into our deck in that situation instead of just one. So good. Which is funny, because that's a similar strategy that I have to uh, my Legacy deck that I main, which is Aggro Loam. Uh, it dredges life from the loam a bunch. And then uses, like, Valroth Stronghold if I need to get a creature back. But it, it uses life from the loam to keep dredging lands into the library, and then casting life from the loam to get them back in my hand if they're what I need. So you just you dig deep. Damn. Uh-oh. Well, we're fucked. Come on. You tried a vegan sausage earlier, and then, oh, <laughs> this is like super salty, gross. I don't like sausage. Um, I like, well, I get Italian sausage on a pizza, but it has to be Italian sausage. Breakfast sausage, I don't like. Some places, like, you, you get sausage on your pizza, and they put, like, breakfast sausage on it. It's terrible. Alright, one world left. You know what? I was working on a new layout, a new... Oh, right, I didn't get all the coins. I was working on a new uh, scene, like a special layout for when I do Wings of V runs, but then I just haven't done a run in a long time, so I didn't finish the, the layout. But if we finish it, actually all I need is I needed to beat the game one more time so I could take a screenshot at a certain spot.
I haven't died on that jump in a long time. But lately I've been making a point not to slow down on it. I shouldn't have to slow down on any of these pipes. Ugh. Zoinks. Like, I used to always pull back a little bit right there. Not very much, it still looked fast when I did it before, but it wasn't 100% fast. So now I've been making a point to hold down the running and jumping, or the, 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 the running to the right, and just do the jumps properly. I guess the NES can only put, um, it's like eight sprites per scan line, is the thing. That's why sometimes sprites flicker, is you'll get more than eight on one spot. And remember that Mario is four sprites, not two, not one. Each sprite is only 16 by 16 pixels. That's why, like, those big bosses in Final Fantasy are, um... They don't move. When there's, like, a big picture, like a big dude, um, they don't move around because... It's too many sprites to move around. I think. That seems to be the case. Perhaps I'm wrong. Used to clean up sprite sheets for your old games? What do you mean, clean up sprite sheets? Mushroom here. That was such a sick buffer. Probably be practicing wings of V bosses when you get back. All right, last level. Oh, jeez. Okay, don't be an idiot. Oh 
my god, that keeps hitting me. Two taps doesn't get you over the thing. Hi, Becky, thanks for the host. The host. Oh shit, what's happening here? 18 viewers, oh jeez. Hi! I never know, I never know how long to wait before saying hello, because that host alert pops right away. There it goes. Um, but also there's a delay. But, uh, hi! Hello! Welcome! Thank you so much for the host, jeez. Uh, just in time for, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of 8-4. <laughs> Resident Evil 4 is so great, and you play it right! When you watch people play it, and they're just dumping handgun ammo into people's chests, it's like, oh my gosh, dude. You just shoot them in the face and kick them, and then run up and knife them, and their head explodes. Or when you can suplex dudes later, oh. So we're finishing up a run here. Yeah, you know what? I actually only played pro mode recently. Uh, I, I very recently got through the game on pro, and it was way harder than I expected. But yeah, uh, now we... Okay, here's the thing that I was distracted by... Or distracted into not doing. Uh. Now wait for the po boo jump up as it's going down so it doesn't double run ya and oh geez and there we go so I was just talking about practicing some Wings of V bosses because Havok has not seen a speed run of Wings of V and so I think we need to do one because everybody everybody needs to needs to see how great a speed run of that game is now 